Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update in the main refreshment court in the north transept. Very little information has been located about the conveniences. The floor plans of the building show their locations, and the position of the entrance doors can be inferred from these. We have added signs above the doors, in the same format as other signs around the building. Use of the word, conveniences, matches the only contemporary documentation we have found on the subject, in the Illustrated London News. The term, public conveniences, was, and continues to be, used, so this seems the most likely term to be used on the signs within the Great Exhibition. Moving into the ladies, we have laid out cubicles on both sides of the room. The format of an individual cubicle follows what was standard practice for a lot of the latter half of the 1800s, a wooden box enclosure, with a hinged seat with two openings, one for where the client sits, the other to provide access to the hand pump for flushing. The flushing toilets at the Great Exhibition were the first public flushing toilets. They were provided by George Jennings, whose name can be seen around the hand pump lever. A charge of one penny was levied to use these toilets, which is where the euphemism, to spend a penny, comes from. Moving back out into the transept, we have started to add some of the planters which adorned this part of the exhibition. Moving south, between the statues of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, we come across a model of a ship. The model shown at the Great Exhibition was of the 1839 HMS Queen, which was the last purely sailing battleship of the Royal Navy. Originally intended to be named Royal Frederick, she was renamed Queen in honour of Queen Victoria's accession to the throne two years before her launch. We have been unable to locate a model of HMS Queen, so the model here is of HMS Victory. The statues either side of the ship model at the Great Exhibition were by James Wyatt. They were plaster models for proposed bronze versions which appear to have never been completed. Wyatt's plaster statues appear to have not survived. Queen Victoria is a model of the statue outside St. George's Hall, Liverpool. This is the same model as we have used in the South Transept. Prince Albert is a model of the statue in Windsor Great Park. Many thanks to Michael Janssen for allowing us to use his model. Moving into the western nave from the transept, we come to the silk trophy by Messrs Keith and Company of Spitalfields. An impressive 50 foot high, including the royal arms at the top. And finally for this update, we return to Canada, and an item which was not ready in time for our video number 17. This is the deputed Great Seal of the United Province of Canada. The province of Canada was formed in 1841 with the merging of Upper Canada and Lower Canada. It corresponded with modern-day Ontario and Quebec. On the left is the seal of Lower Canada, on the right of Upper Canada. The two female figures standing in between indicate the union of sister provinces. All surmounted by the royal arms. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.